Hello everybody, C3 again with another modded inscription run and today it's gonna be the Magnificus mod. So uh, first of all I will reset here because as far as I know it's an act one and we have to reset here and I have done like a mini like about I played about a minute just to see how it opens up. So this is gonna go very fast here on the text and the, the cards. So I'm gonna read the first text as fast as possible and then I'm gonna read the cards as fast as possible because this is pretty much my first take. I wasn't able to see the cards on my first run because I was reading at the top. So, um, yeah, we got the classic loaning here. Let's see. Hmm, it seems a new student is woven into my... I wasn't even fast enough this time either. Wolf familiar, two... Uh, one, one thing, two, two... Uh, once again, wasn't fast enough for anything. To prepare for what has yet to come, challenger, take this deck. Get used to it, for it is your only tool to move forward. Okay, we can... Oh, we... I guess this is the shop. And I guess I don't have money. So let's run into a new card choice. Can I see my deck? I don't see us seeing our deck. We're in the void. Okay. Got a step each. What is this? Through the maze of paintings and illusions, there may be some that is in de deign, deign to join your deck. Choose carefully. I don't know what Dane means. Whoop. It has come at last. The tentacle, and this is a new sigil that specifically means um, pillar proximity. The value represented with this sigil will be equal to how close this card is to the life pillar on the table. Uh, I don't know what the life pillar is, and yeah, this is bugged, by the way. That's why I read it out of that. Uh, so it's a pillar power that needs you to have a green mox. Skull sage. A skull sage appears from within the portrait. A junior sage that met with a terrible fate. Five bone two two with emerald heart. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, it creates an emerald mox in its place. Okay, the triangle mox. While this needs the circle mox. And this is a you glance at a revoir. It brings a mage back from the dead at the cost of its own life. Revi reviver. Reviver? Reviver. So it's a four bones, zero three that death revive. When a bear, the card being the sigil is played and another card on the board perishes, the dead card will be brought back to life, but this card will die. Awesome mechanic. Awesome, awesome mechanic. I hope I, I see this mechanic in cards that are, you know, in other mods. I, I'm seeing this mechanic for the first time ever. Uh, can I see my deck? Yes, I can see my deck. So, Wolf Familiar, we have a, I guess, a orange. I'm going to call these squares, okay? Triangle circles. I'm not good with colors. So, squares. I know it's like it's a ruby or whatever, but I'm going to just call it square. Um, so, 2-2 two, two with familiar a card bring the sigil will perish if there are no sacrificable cards on the board Ooh, sacrificable cards got it so if it's alone pretty much necrom or if it's with moxes so this does not survive with moxes but you do have to have a mox anyway necromage a do bone cost one two this is insane We're, yeah it's it's pretty decent uh techno mage a triangle one three hover mage a circle one two well we start with uh, a. <laughs> We start with a squire here, or whatever it's called, like a bird. I would say this leaves behind a triangle. I like leaving behind triangles, although I don't know what how much this is. As I said, the damage is the value represented with the sigil will be equal to how close the card is to the life pillar. So let's take this. I mean, assuming that I get this circle, this can be a 3-1, a 2-1, a 4-1. I don't know. Once again, it's not impaled. Let's take this and hope it's damage. I think yes. Otherwise, 5 cost 2 2 would also be nice. We get painting here, and the shop is still very far away. Let's go painting. Give me a card that you don't particularly like. Ooh, nice. Uh, I don't particularly like the flyer, honestly speaking. This seems like a good defender. This seems like a good gutter in general. I mean, if I'm not missing how good or weak this is. So, although, do I want to go towards one symbol only? Like, do I want to go and lead towards circles? Because I'm about to throw away a circle while I already just got a circle in the deck. Hmm. I have no idea. You know what? Because I'm assuming that the points will also play moxes, I should keep the... F I mean, I have no idea about anything in this mod. You know, let's, let's throw away the flyer. You know, just because... It's still trash. What can I say? He literally changed the one thing I don't like about flying into the other thing that I don't like about waterboard. Uh, your card sigil have now been changed for better or for worse. Man, it's it's the same thing, literally. By the way, anybody that doesn't know my opinion about this, because maybe you're here only for the mod, my opinion is that Flyer is good for Leshy, and not really that good for you. So, I guess for Magnificus, 
So make having you having flyers makes it better easier for Leshy to kill your units. While you having underwater units is as if you're giving fl giving flyer to Leshy. So you either give him flyer or you having flyers makes him kill your units while you try to get push damage through. Anyway, let's get this. The reason pushing damage through on your side is not really that important with flyers is because Leshy just wants needs to beat you once. I guess Magnificus. We got a 3D animation here. Uh, the enemy, I've, I'm fighting a mage. We got pliers and a mox. And we drew an emerald mox. Okay, this, uh, as far as I remember... Can I see this? No, I cannot see this. So as far as I remember, these moxes, the side deck, are random. But I think uh, I have had given feedback back in the day when it was just a card mod to maybe make them not random. So we're gonna see if that's fixed. And uh, what can we play here? We can Wow, we literally draw the, the nothing card. We drew, <laughs> we drew the triangle, and we have bones, which we don't have. <laughs> uh, the ruby, I guess, and uh, a circle, so we can't play anything. By the way, I guess this here is the life pillar. Yeah, I guess this is the life pillar. Or is this the life pillar? I'm not sure, man. By the way, what is this back here? I hope... I, I don't know what this exactly is. Uh, let's let's play. What is, what is this? Alchemist, the 1-1. One, one. That buffs the allies and a 0-5. Okay, I get it. So we have to kill the alchemist. Let's go. Now we take two. Obviously, can't do anything about that. Uh, I need to kill this alchemist. So this just does one damage to us while the practice mage does nothing. Uh, honestly speaking, I think we have two cards in the deck. Okay, it's a 50-50 if we draw the triangle card or the other circle card. Honestly, I'm, I'm more willing to draw this and 50-50 these two. Are you kidding me? Okay, then we go with plan B. Plan B. We go Mox 1, Mox 2, Hammer Slammer 1, Hammer Slammer 2. And I'm assuming that this mod actually has thought about this, okay? I'm gonna assume that this mod gave us the hammer, because I have not added the hammer. It's on its own, like it was here. I don't have any other mod active, so the hammer is definitely part of this. And, um, yeah, the hammer is here for things like these. You know, when, when you need to draw the you when you need to play something so here i'm forced to draw this hopefully it's not triangle again oh thank god uh let's kill the alchem this alchemist instead of the left one so we're gonna also see how much damage this thing is gonna have so let's oh i don't need this on the board yeah i can play this here on the very left to block one damage let's play this here to see what we get it's a one one yeah but well i i got no answer about how much damage that i i need to play it again to understand how much damage it gets uh, I need, please... Nope, not what I needed. We're gonna lose the tentacle here. This is not an easy fight. Um, yeah, I need to draw the familiar. I, I need to be able to play the familiar. I don't have any... Oh no, I have a triangle card in the deck. 50-50 the triangle card. We got the 50-50. I would say we throw the triangle away as I don't need it after I play this card. So this goes here and this goes here because we need to try to get rid of the middleman here. This is not easy, man. I hope, I hope, Leshy. Uh oh. I didn't calculate this. No. Everything is still good. Uh, this is gonna get one damage. Oh, we're still alive. Okay. Uh, what I wanted to mention is I hope, I really hope, that this mod thought about the fact that we might not be able to beat. Uh, not, uh, no, 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 no. We might not be able to play infinite cards. So that's what I would say. Please tell me that these stop happening. Joining. The fight. Let's go. Pop, pop. Yeah, that's gonna kill the ruby because I don't need it anyway. Let's throw my side card. That's that's obviously I need to have. I I obviously need to play the tentacle one more time to understand how exactly it works. So he played. Uh, he stopped playing cards. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe it played a bit few too many, but still it stopped <laughs> with a blaze of magic. You ended the battle. I wasn't fast enough. The excess magic you cast turns into mana crystals, so you may spend them at the meek store behind you. Is the store a one-time thing? You know what? Mm, how much do I have? I have two coins. Okay, I'm gonna go to the shop and I get... I don't know, five? I, I will assume that something costs five and ten. Maybe ten? Maybe ten, maybe ten. What is this? I will assume that this is you get more of that type of card. Okay, this is the only thing I can understand with what I'm seeing right now. So, I think I'm going blue. I have two blue cards. One, one, um, one triangle. 
I don't even know what to call these, man. Square, circle, and a triangle. I have one triangle. One, I have one, one, and two, but let's go blue. Let's go blue. Although, I, I'm really afraid it's not a good idea, but yellow it. It's we get a blue card. Okay, I would have definitely not chosen blue, but now we're going full in blue, okay? Now we're going all in blue. Uh, we can use this to block something off, as long as what I'm blocking off does not have abilities or anything. And then I can hammer slammer. Is this... This looks like, um, it looks a little sus to me. Do you have a card that was, that has a cost you are unsatisfied with? Techno Mage, and we don't have Triangle at all? Yeah, let's go Techno Mage and don't do Triangle at all. And that's actually, yeah, I mean, yeah, I would like to go try, um, squares and circles. Okay, uh, your card cost has been changed. So let's hope we don't draw triangles now. Wait, don't draw a triangle. No. <laughs> uh, this is completely useless to us. Let's... Oh no, the whiz. Let's uh, bend this. Yeah, a triangle is completely useless to us. It's only for blocking damage. Okay. That was just gonna kill us. Obviously, we drew a side deck card here. Are you kidding me? Don't tell me triangles are more often in general. What's the chance? What's the chance that that happens? Uh, well, we got a problem now. Because I wanted to be able to play at least one of these two. Now I can't play any of them. Uh, I mean, I can play the Necromage and kill this Wiz. Yeah, that would be the simplest thing to do. I mean, the triangles are completely useless to us. So let's throw the triangle away and hammer it on our own. So I'm able to play the Necromage and kill this thing. And uh, I then 50-50 try. I'm, I'm, we're gonna lose 50-50 <laughs> triangle and non-triangle. Okay, uh, we, we draw the good one, by the way. Uh, let's kill this. And the Techno Mage will block the Alchemist anyway. So we play the Ruby Mox on the, on the right. We want to have it safe. And then we play the Techno Mage here. So we will get hit by the Emerald Mox, but we will also do one damage with the Necro Mage. Let's go. I love the, the, the sound there. Okay, I think now is a good chance to maybe try to find the wolf. Because this is gonna kill my only thing that needs the wolf. Well, now uh, now I can play the wolf and I'm also not gonna draw any cards from in there. Actually, no, I... Yeah, I'm not gonna draw cards from in there. Anyway, this is dead. We'll do one damage. Why did I do this? I, I couldn't play anything. That, why did I do this? I should have drawn aside the card for sure. Because I had two cards that I could have played. Ooh, nice. We were lucky here. Uh, no, this is gonna kill my Necromage. That's bad. It's also gonna kill whatever I play on the right. No, I can actually play the Hover Mage. We're about to take two damage, by the way. Play the Hover Mage. Or otherwise, I can play the Force Mage. Blocks this in, blocks this damage thing in two. The Mage kills it next turn, though. Yeah, no, I'm gonna play the Hover Mage. So let's play this on the left. Play the Hover Mage. Oop. Take two damage, we lose the Necromage. Pretty sad. But we still control the match, so... I can even play these for free, so I can even draw a side card. Uh, no, I don't want to play this here! <laughs> no. I wanted to... I want to learn how much... If it does more damage or not. Uh, you know what? I can slow play this, I think, to learn. Yeah, it doesn't seem more cards are getting played. Okay, well... Let's go closer to the damage threshold we're looking for. And then I'm gonna experiment. Just to make sure I'm not gonna make any stupid mistake. Okay. Let's try this now. We're gonna hammer the Techno Mage. We're gonna play this thing there, so we see how much damage do you get. A 2-1. So the more right it is, the better? I'm gonna assume that the more right it is, the better. Did it say Life Crystals? Life Pillar. Ah, these are my lives. Ah, I get it. Sift is not very bright sometimes. Let's hammer this. Let's play this. And let's do another two damage because the money is a thing in this mod. And we can even go to the shop and we decide to. What? What? I see the whole fight coming up. Like, I see everything. Where's my age? By the way, uh, something I didn't mention. Oh, there is. Are there duplicates? A gem detonator appears from within the portrait. It went insane after it heard whispers in a dark crypt and, ch and chants your mocks to explode when destroyed. I mean, it's a bone unit, and it's a 2-1. That's the thing I'm looking at. Oh, 
Random cards. Should I go for random cards? Gem detonator? Random cards. Hmm. I mean, th it costs a bit too much, but the thing is, after I play this, I can play a Mox and hammer it, and the Mega Explode instantly kills something, like a pocket uh, ability, but otherwise... I mean, 5 is a bit too much, especially in this mod, where you just play your things and hope they don't die. On the other hand, the Moxes die very often, so 5 is not really that hard. Let's go with random cards and see what we get, because why not? And then we're gonna pray that we're gonna survive with those random cards. Yeah, I, I forgot to mention something, by the way. Uh, I, I will try to approach the non-min-max slash try-to-win version of Sift. So, uh, what I mean with this is... Why do I only have these four cards? Give me a card that you don't particularly like. Okay. Uh, I guess he's just gonna add a sigil. I think I'm gonna... You know what? Change this sig thing's sigil. Yeah. Change this thing's sigil. <laughs> Imagine if this now becomes a different card or we lose it because it's a good card. Yeah, no, it's now it explodes. Actually, it's not really that bad that it explodes because now I can use it on my own. Yeah, uh, we cannot read that, but whatever. Yeah, as I said, I'm gonna not try to. This is like literally my first time playing this, so I decided that I prefer to maybe showcase a sift that you know see something for the first time and decides on the spot instead of always going with uh, if we don't win I don't upload this I mean I don't, I don't know why I'm making fun of myself but that's my <laughs> that's how I normally play games um let's not do anything because we once again didn't draw a good card a deck our deck and whatever flyers are coming in uh I think I'm gonna drop from the board so I can play the necromage okay at least we can play this uh let's play the mocks in front of the safe arm mocks, as that's not going to be a problem for us. And uh, the Techno Mage on the left, so we do one damage, take one damage. Next turn, I'm going to draw another mocks and hammer slammer it. Right now, this mocks is important, so we're not going to hammer slammer that. Okay, circle is more important than triangle. Yeah, we only have one more triangle card in the deck, which is the wolf, but still, the circle is. You have more circle units, so this is out. When I say triangle, I mean square. Okay, this triangle is always useless. So if I'm talking about anything that has the word triangle in it, I'm talking about the square, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna play this here because killing this overmage is not gonna help us at all. So I might as well do one damage first, you know, and open up the lane. Because this this can stay there. Okay, now before we beat this, before we kill this overmage, we have to kill the Sapphire Mox. And I don't see that happening if we don't draw a blue card. Okay, good thing this is not a flyer. That's the only thing I have to say. So let's go here into this. So this will now kill this. So this coming in will instantly die because this says that it is dependent on gems. I mean, it literally says what it does, but if a card by the sigil owners controls a mox, no mox cards, the card by the sigil perishes. Dead, dead, dead. This doesn't do anything that instantly died. It disappeared. And now we will do damage and actually survive here. Um, this thing is bad. But uh, we continue our crusade. We do two. We take one. Okay. I would say... Circle. Nice force mage. Yeah, this moves to the right. This attacks it. We do one. We take one. We take two. <laughs> panic. Panic. <laughs> this does one damage to us. And this also does one damage to us. Because this is underwater. That's why I hate underwater, by the way. <laughs> How it so happened that... We just randomly got into a fight where this thing being underwater is what actually is killing us. It goes beyond my wildest dreams, man. I love it when this happens. I love it. We are going to use the pliers here. We're going to survive. And then next turn, this is dead. And um, yeah, we will do one and take... No, we're not going to do one. I think we're losing. I think I need to play the wolf familiar. Can I play the wolf familiar? I play. Uh, I have to to think some steps ahead here. First, uh, this is gonna. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna draw from this deck the tentacle thing that has two damage. So I can theoretically hammer slammer the techno mage as it's gonna have like a random unit in front of it. Play. I don't have a mox to play it because the blue mox is here. Yeah. Okay. The player is forced here. We can't do anything about that. Wait, that's not true. I made a mistake. 
I made a mistake. I can hammer slammer the techno mage. These will do two damage. And we're gonna take one. And then I can draw from my deck the, the tentacle thing. Although it should be 0 1 as far as I know. Okay, now that I did the teeth, which I shouldn't have done, let's think about this more rationally. So this does one to the half tail. This does one to this guy. This does one to the enemy. And we take one damage from the hover mage. Okay? We take actually two damage. We are alive because I just used the tooth. Next turn, if Fleshy doesn't play anything here, because if Fleshy plays something here, we're dead. Magnificus, whatever. Um, uh, this thing will kill the tail. This thing will kill the sapphire sorcerer. This thing will do one damage to the hover mage. And this hover mage will kill us. Okay, because we have three life. Wait. Am I not doing damage this round? No, this round I do one and I take two. So I will be here. Wait, why did I... Why did I use that? Because I attacked first, man. I attacked first. I was okay before the plier. Yeah, we're winning. Let's go. Dup, dup, dup. Take two. Okay, this is dead, this is dead, this doesn't do anything, and this will just do one damage to us, so we're pretty safe. I mean, I'm not missing anything, right? This, this, previously, for some reason, I thought that that was gonna kill us. I, I, I don't know. For some reason, I thought we had less life than we actually had. Yeah, we just continue now, we won. I'm sorry, I'm not talking, but... I mean, what to say here, this is just a slow burn. <laughs> Imagine if we lose from starvation. Uh, I would like to actually play this tentacle here at the very right to see... To see... Um, yeah, to see if it's... Uh, how, how powerful it can be. I think it's up to a 3-1, I would assume. I would assume it's up to a 3-1. Yeah, it's a 3-1, by the way. Okay, let's go. Can I do more damage than this? I mean, I can. Should I? I mean, I should. It's in my best interest to play as much things, uh, to do as much damage as possible. How many bones do I have? Can I somehow see how many bones I have? I think I have four. Min maxing with Sift, although he said he's gonna play it relaxed. I mean, this is relaxed for me, right? <laughs> uh, nine. Should I go for the shop? Is this a boss? Please tell me this is Magnificus and we're done. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have like three bosses and three acts, etc. And we are at 22 minutes. This is gonna be a huge mod. I don't play that fast. Duo. It's a five cost one three. You gaze at the ruby golem. This magical construct carries a ruby mox with itself. I mean, this is insanely powerful. We're gonna go for this. It's a ruby two one. Just play a ruby, it's a two one. Five bones one three is awesome. Duo. Shouldn't this be Dio? Um, yeah, we're gonna go with the ruby golem. I like it. Paint again, something I don't like. Card you don't particularly like. And this is such a trap, because you might have given, done this to this thing, and then <laughs> it would be even more trash. Let's go with a Techno Mage. Techno Magic. Techno... Oh, you're kidding me. Are you kidding me? This is extremely bad. Man, no, don't, don't... <laughs> The problems that Aramont had, this mod has to give a random sigil to a unit. Boom, take it. And it's trash. I hate it, man. I hate when mechanics are for better or for worse. No, don't give me things that are... I mean, let's... Uh, let's. Uh, do, how much do I have? Nine. Let's get a bit more and then we're gonna go to the shop. I don't know if you can go to the shop a few times. By the triangle mage. Um, it's the hover mage. And the Sapphire Mox. I mean, this is the same fighter previously. So we're gonna get another Hover Mage, another Hover Mage, and then the, the, the tail. Uh, at least I came the Ruby Golem right away. So... Yeah, we're gonna play the Ruby Golem. No thought about it. This is for safety reason. Okay, another Hover Mage. Doesn't matter. Uh, let's go Mox. Triangle, that's useless. Okay, no marks. And then he's gonna also play the 3-1, I forgot that. Uh, this is bad, but I can play two marks, break him for the... The MVP of the deck right now, honestly speaking. Uh, I will go with, I do one damage and I take one damage, instead of I damage the hover mage and I take one damage. Okay, very nice. The 3-1's coming in. 
So I need to definitely play something on the Ruby Marks right now. Oh no, this is going to backline kill it. What a good card, man. What a good card. Let's draw uh, Marks then. Nice. Hammer Slammer this. Start getting rid of the Hover Mage. Maybe I should just leave the Hover Mage exist. You know what? I'm going to do the big brain play. You're going to see this thing now in motion. As long as he plays the other unit here. Please play the other unit here. No, no it's not the big blame play. <laughs> he somehow did it again. I don't know how he did it, but this stupid thing is going to once again attack through the underwater card. Two out of two, man. Two out of two. Um, the familiarity. Nope. Let's go. Boop, boop. It's not, it's not even going to kill my Ruby Golem. Oh, wait, that means it's not going to actually move. Yeah, cancel what I just said. And Sift gets cancelled. Uh, let's go with this, I guess. Let's hammer slammer this. Let's play the Wolfie, which is extremely dangerous as a card, but YOLO it. And we win. I didn't even get money. No! This is get a card of that. Uh, okay, now, now I would have understood, you know, <laughs> if this is the first thing I would have seen. Uh, let's go with obviously not triangle as I don't have a triangle deck. But if by not having triangles, when the marks get triangle focused, you actually have a downside in your deck. Yeah, that's also true. If uh, the cards in my hand are all the same though, I can draw one specific marks and just be able to play everything. Go this. Another familiar. I'm okay with familiar. Paint the familiar away. Give me a card that you don't particularly like. It's the familiar right now. Don't make it explosive or reliant on gems. Poisonous. Decent. Decent. Uh, I still have nine. Is this actually Magnificus? Is this the end? I cannot veer outside, by the way. I'm still trying to get one more coin in case something costs 10 the shop. Uh, and familiar. Imagine if I should have gone to the shop this whole time. Maybe I should have gone to the shop, honestly. Uh, what? Is this going to instantly die? Carbon Decision will perish if there are no sacrificable cards on the, on the board? Crystal Worm, is this supposed to be a sacrificable card that also provides you with Ox? That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like, and it has ant damage. I guess I can play the Force. Meh, I can't play anything. I can't play anything. Triangle cards, man. Triangle cards. Let's go. Okay, so this is... Draw me this, this symbol. I mean, Circle is okay, I guess, but we're gonna get damaged a lot here. Uh, I can either play the Necromage, which is going to fight with the Unfamiliar, or play the Force Mage and block the other Unfamiliar in completely. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm going to play the Force Mage for the sole reason that I'm going to just draw another Mox next turn and then uh, play the, f the other... Yeah, I... Wait a minute. That's actually not true. Because... No, no, the Force Mage can't deal with the... Uh, yeah, okay. It's, it's true. Let's go... Let's go here for now, because if we lose the marks, we're okay with it. Let's go here. And uh, I think we pass. Take two damage. Okay. <laughs> we're about to die. Uh, we draw a mox. What is this? What is this? I think it crashed. It crashed. It crashed. Panic, panic. Let's go back to it. I hope there is a save file or something. Please, 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 please have a save file. Please, 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 please have a save file system or something. Please. Okay, it seems that there is. That you don't particularly like. Wait, what? No, 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 I already did this. No, no. It's the first mage, by the way, but no. I guess we can test this. No. Let's go to the shop. No. <laughs> Bugs, man. Arrive at the shop. I have exactly nine. View deck. Edit side deck. Edit side deck. <gasps> I'm stupid. No! Why did I not go to the shop earlier? No! No! I don't believe this. Okay, I think we're okay here. So it's... It's five blue and five triangles. 
No. Uh, what is this? Miraculous Mox item. Uruluz Mox. It's a no cost. The Moxes I need. Three. An item. I like the item choice. Let's go for item. Scissors. Perfect. Uh, I have two items right now. Mox mod. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna come to the shop like a million times. Yeah, the shop is here forever. Well, uh, my my min maxi ways of trying to use all the things one time uh, bite us. So we 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 made the card a bit worse, but it's not the end of the world. What is this? A gem absorber. When a card bearing the sigil. By the way, I'm very happy that we did not lose the whole run because this was supposed to be the I'm gonna try it one time and then if we lost everything I, I don't know I would have need to upload like whatever I had I don't know. when the card bearing the sigil is played all gems on the board will perish for each gem absorbed absorb gain 1 power and 2 health 1 power and 2 health for 3 gems it's gonna be like a 3 I mean you're not gonna have 3 gems but I mean insane we, we drew what we need <laughs> um I guess we pass to take two damage, turn one, and then next turn we just play the tentacle on the right and destroy everything. And yeah, we take two, it's okay. Here I hope we draw the wolf familiar's part. We didn't. It's okay, it's okay. We do not need the sapphire mark, so might as well use it as a blocker. Play this here. Boom, done. 3 1. Pass. Oop. Yeah, that will kill that. No, 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 no. No. Uh, uh, I have a mox. I mean, I will always have a mox. Try to play the wolf right now. Yes. So we go. You know what? Let's not YOLO blocker it. Let's go here. Let's kill this thing. Nice. Very nice. We lose the, the good unit. Yeah, of course, this goes on like for a bit. Let's try to draw something because now I have both moxes accessible. This is not good. <laughs> uh, this is not good at all. I I hate this card, man. This is not a good card for us. Uh, we're gonna take two damage from that. Actually, we're gonna take more than two. We're gonna take three. <laughs> I think I need to play the Force Mage here. I might be wrong, obviously, about it. But uh, we're getting slowly bones, so... Oh, nice. We're gonna do a backline kill there. Do I have enough bones? I don't think I have enough bones. I might have the other bone unit, though. Nice! My intuition. Boom, boom. Intuition, by the way, meaning... By the way, the, ch the fight changed. I d I didn't obviously not want to skip the end fight, although it seemed harder and it looked like a loss, but... <laughs> what can I say? Uh, we're doing three damage here. I really want to get rid of the Force Mage and place the Absorber. Uh, let's see what I can draw here. Techno Mage. T -t 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 -techno oh, this first of all is gonna die and kill this, this, uh, this, uh, its opposite, and this. So we're just gonna pass here. I think we... This attack for zero, by the way. I think we could have won there. I mean, now we can definitely win. So, let's see this in action. We go here. We go here. And now we go here. What? I thought I had enough bones. How many? The bones are not easily visible, man. I have four. Okay, you're useless now. Oh, it's a 2-3. <laughs> we got money, though. We got money, though. We also have two random maxes. Let's see what we get. By the way, as far as I know, this is made from one person. Um, specifically, you know, because we want to be clear about that, silence, man. Let's go with blue. No, man, I hate this card. Don't pick blue the other time, man. <laughs> this is a... F wow, what is this? This looks like an elite. I, I, I'm, I'm taking apart. But what is this? You had arrived before the great master Oral's flame. Whispers say that the card em embraced by the embers of his fire grows stronger. The first mage? We YOLO this? We YOLO this. Heavy YOLO. A strong card. Will you risk it or back away? <laughs> risk? I don't know what this thing does. It's a 1-1 one -one that can never get attacked. The Ember enhanced the card's power, perhaps. Your first mids could endure its heat once again. Oh, we YOLOing here, man. You know what? If I lose it, I lose it. It was a force mage to begin with. 
At last you force mage burns, overwhelmed by Master Roller's flame. No matter, you continue forward. Well, um, let's get a new card in the deck. Yeah, we're not gonna take that. I'm not even gonna read what it says. You gaze at the orange mage. Can we awaken the power deep within the mox? Ah, this is a very good card. Mox card on orange side, boards gain one power. Oh, this is also a good card. It's a 3 1. Let's go with Mox as can damage. Uh, I don't know what this is, but you know, it's uh, it's first time trying the mod, so might as well go for it. Yeah, that looks like an elite fight to me. All the fights are very slow, by the way. Um, Mox, Mox. Is this... Uh, oh, this needs this, though. So if I kill this, this should also die. But this is a 1-3. That gives us 4 bones, by the way. A 2-1 poisonous. The big guns. The big guns. We can play the hover mage. Which can kill the serpent, by the way. So... Yeah, let's play the hover mage. And then we can throw the sapphire marks under the trash anyway. Throw this under the bin. Let's go here. Maybe I should not throw everything under the bin. Yeah, I should save the sapphire marks. I should try to protect my moxes. 50-50. We drew it. It's a 2-1 fly blocker. Well, guess what? It's not going to be able to beat that thing. But I can beat it with the wolf familiar. Although the moment something comes in, we're going to lose the hover mage. Should I YOLO it? In my opinion, yes. When I say yes, I mean super YOLO it all in. Let's go. That's the power of the mox, though. Whoop. Guess what, man? We're going to backline kill that thing. Boop. Done. Yeah, the power of the mox is that if your deck is only one specific mox, ooh, ooh, then you play like a million cards after you draw the mox. I should obviously look into my deck again and see how many moxes or non mox to have. This doesn't give us a reward, by the way. There was no point in this other than... Oh, let's showcase it. Seven coins. I mean, I have two items. One of them is the scissor. Okay, this is going to be definitely a three-fight uh, mod, I think. Liberty Spinity. What did I get? Mox shards. Arg, arg, arg. Okay, we got a gem frog. It's a one cost, one three fly blocker, but needs another card to be with it. Mox shards. I, what is this? Black mox. When a card bearing the sigil is drawn, the card will generate a random mox crystal. So it's this. So this rolled this. That's what I understand. We go two times the same thing and none of them are the things we have in hand. Perfect. Uh, I can play these and break them, but honestly, I don't want to do that. What does this do? As much damage as many mox I have, right? Yeah, this has, let me see. Mox power. The value represented with the sigil will be equal to the number of mox cards the owner has on their side. Okay, so we have to kill the emerald mox, otherwise we will be taking damage. Uh, I mean, for now we pass. Next turn I'm gonna draw a mox, and if it's not the mox I need, then we're gonna see what we're gonna do. Roll the 50-50. Uh, we will protect my sapphire mox behind the green mage. And uh, we're gonna go with tentacle on the right. And uh, jump rock here to block the orange mage and also kill him. And uh, and yeah, for now we pass. Boop. Yeah, but that's not gonna do anything. Of course an attacking unit comes in here. We're gonna lose one tentacle. And then he's also gonna play a mox behind it. Uh, I would like to get rid of this real quick if possible. Let's draw a real card. Blue mage. Mm, this is a pretty useless card, honestly speaking. Might as well just use it for now. And then I can hammer slammer it. And compare in with something else too. So we lose the mox. But I have no blue cards anymore. Well, famous last words, what? Uh, let's go. This is not going well. This crystal mox is gonna kill us. It's a 3 1. Uh, I can play the necromage on the left side. The left side is gonna be completely blocked off. Green mage is. This side is already blocked off. This doesn't do anything. We all we will be taking one damage until the Necromage burns through, obviously. So, yeah, let's try that. So, we play this. Wait, 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 wait. It's really important that I play the Hover Mage first, because then I can smash the mocks and play the Necromage. So, I can have Hover Mage on the right and Necromage on the left, and the rest of the lanes are going to be completely blocked off anyway. So, let's try to draw circle. Circle. Uh, love randomness, man. Everybody loves randomness. Isn't that what everybody says all the time? Ha ha ha, random is fun, you know? No, it's the classic meme. Lol, look me, I'm so random. I hate randomness in games. Especially... Oh, I just realized the, gem, the gem frog is not blocking in its lane. Gem frog, you have failed this city. Uh, that's not what I need. That's what we got. 
pass. And now Mark's coming. This is not good. I can leave the serpent. Wait, does the serpent lose life every turn? Why is it the one one now? Blue marks. I'm thinking about not uh, gem not killing the the crystal worm here, but then the emerald mark's gonna come in for one turn though, and this isn't even attacking. Yeah, we 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 protect this. Attack. We this is gonna take a while, team. We take a hit. Pass the dead. Yep, the only thing that takes damage from that cannot attack. Who is the bad blue mage now? <laughs> Green mage is here though. Okay, we continue. We do one, we take one. Okay, I'm thinking about backline killing this lane. Yeah, backline killing this lane. While still having this in check. Yeah, that, that's it. And I'm bad. Actually, can I abandon a lane? Thinking about playing this guy, that's my, my main idea here. That's how I'm gonna do the backline. But the thing is, I need to get rid of the Force Mage if I wanna do that. Thank you. This, this Force Mage is gonna exist, but he's not gonna do anything. He's gonna do one thing for one turn, and that's gonna be smacking this out of existence. Am I forced to draw a card here? What's happening? Yep. So let's do a smackaroni on this and this. And here we're gonna play Triangulare plus backline damage. This is dead, this is dead. We're gonna take one damage on the left. Yeah, that's it. We're gonna take one damage on the left. This takes a while, man. Is there ever a stop of units getting played? It's as if... <laughs> Yo, mod creators, stop making all the fights take a million hours. No, it's crashed again. It crashed again. No, 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 no. It crashed again. Yep. I'm, I'm coming back. Yeah, that's the reason why. That's the reason why. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Okay, I'm back. So, while I was waiting for this to load and just thinking what I'm gonna say after the crash came back, um, I'm gonna announce this now to all the mod creators. If you have a complex mod that has a high chance of crashing, tell this before, or the literally moment I get the game crash while I'm trying to do something, I'm gonna just straight up stop the video and be like, okay, I'm not gonna do this. Let's see. I'll arrive before the great master all of this. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna abuse the fact that this thing crashes. Let's go here. Give us damage, please. It's 1-1. One, one. We take it. We're gonna take it. You know what else we're gonna do? We're gonna abuse even more things. Yes. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. Huh? What, who, what are we gonna do now? Huh? What are we gonna do now? Why, why are we gonna do now? What are we gonna do now? Huh? You're gonna crash the game again? Oh, what is this? Why are we back here? Why is this this? Are that has cost you are satisfied with? No. No, no. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna just walk away from the table. Walk away from the table. Anyway, let's, uh... Whatever. This. I hate you, man. You know what? Abuse. Abuse mechanics. That's, that's what happens, man. That's what happens. I think the mod doesn't have... Well, if the mod doesn't have any problems, here, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna abuse whatever we can. And, um... The card I'm not satisfied with? I don't know, this one. Can I walk away from this? Obviously not. And it got useless. Who abuses what mechanic? Who knows? <laughs> the game... You know what? We're gonna roll another dice on this. We're gonna get another event going here. If it's positive, if it's negative, we're gonna be seeing. Oh, we got another one of these. So let's uh, roll this thing. Guy. <laughs> this, this thing. Uh, this is not my deck. Everything has gone out of uh, fashion. You know what? I'm, I'm enjoying this, honestly. I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying the fact that you send me a mod like in this state. You know what? I, I'm having genuine fun right now. Maybe people watching are like, Yo, Sif, stop baking the mod, but no. <laughs> you know why? It's not this. I, I, until it becomes a square again. Okay, nice. Now, now it's good. Now it's well statted and very well costed. I want one more of the flame events, please. Can I get one flame event here? Can we... Ah... We got painting again. That's not going well. We're gonna lose my best sigils right now. Come on. Give me the cards. Ah. Oh, we lose very good sigils here. Can I can I just straight up cancel the event? 
Can I can we just can we just literally abuse the abusing? No. Let's skip more once again. Maybe it was just RNG, you know, maybe it was a 50-50, because that's also a thing. Nah. I'm gonna tap it one more time, one more time, one more time. I mean, it's it's one out of four to get painting, as far as I understand. So maybe, maybe, maybe it's... Uh, it's nope, I don't see an out over here. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Uh, I'm better off uh, throwing off the Necromage. Ooh, it became even better, in my opinion. Maybe not better, but it became decent. Uh, should I go and maybe go to the shop? Is there anything in the shop I like? I don't know. Let's go into this. Let's go into this. And if anything, I, I might as well lose, you know. Uh, I'm gonna be even more relaxed now. Arg, arg, arg. I mean, I'm gonna just play as fast as possible because when, when mods crash and when I try to do something specific, like first, uh, you know, first, what is it called? First encounter? No, it's not first encounter. First impression. When I'm trying to do first impression, one, one of the very few times in my life, and this thing happens, yeah, then I'm gonna get quote unquote triggered. But uh, yeah, uh, let's, uh, yeah, we, we had this fight. We had this fight. I can just kill that thing instantly. Let's go with... Um, did I play the... Oh, YOLO. YOLO, 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 YOLO it. Let's go here. Up one. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. Uh, so we can break the ruby. We're okay with that. We already have a ruby. Then we go machine gun. Then we go... Actually, we go everything. Here. Mage. Like that. Uh, that, that, that. That's... That's where it is. That's where it's at. That's where it's at. We're destroying this mod now. That's dead. You can't even attack us. Here, random card. Let's go. Boom, boom. We got the insta win mage. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Why two? I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. That's the voice for. Her. Don't you think those cards are a little too powerful? That's better. Haha! <laughs> Still killed your unit though. Get that. I mean, take that. What is this? Uh, when a card in the sigil is struck, a strike will lose one attack. Hmm. Let's see who wins. Fight me. Hey, wait, did that thing have one attack? Oh, a zero. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I thought this thing had zero attack. I should have hammer stammered this. My plan is falling apart. My plan is falling apart. My plan is falling apart. I can backline kill the right side, by the way. Because this can explode at some point. Anyway, we, we still do damage here. Continue with the damage. Okay, we're, we're still okay. We're still okay. We're still okay. <laughs> Panic is setting in. Uh, let's go with... Isn't the wolf familiar dead? The moment it arrives, our the sigils will perish if there are no sacrificable cards on the board. I mean, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna kill the green mage next turn anyway, so... This necromage isn't even useful. We can pass here, there is no downside to passing. We do one damage. Okay. Time to break this mod apart. So, I think I need red to backline kill this. Actually, I can backline kill it with uh, the, this one. So I don't even need red. I, I'm okay with blue. Although I would like to have red in the back. So this is gonna backline kill. This is gonna simple kill. Let's go. Th this is gonna be blocked for the whole game. More goo. Why did I draw that? I don't even know. We won anyway! We beat him. You're uh, Oh, I guess there's phase three. Nope, he's dead. Nice. <laughs> nice little animation there. Seems my student could not. I shall replenish your life. Yeah, I I'm not that fast. I'm sorry. Choose wisely. By the way, I didn't click. That was actually the speed that that got, went away. The seamless master bleen. It shall uh, it shall help you, it shall help you in times of dire need at the cost of its own ability to defend itself. Admirable. Don't we know what master bleen is? Isn't it the she or he? We, we should know that. Uh, a chime mage. Uh, at least M Magnificus should know that. A chime mage appears from within the portrait. I'd like to silence it, but I mustn't. It, the mage, it, or the car, what? Like this it is a bit out of place in Rayuli. Practiced in magic? I'd fear it only if it could fly. By the way, I'm, I'm reading magic, weird like that, because it has a K. 
Wait, is, is Magic written with a K? Because in my mind, Magic the Gathering is written with just a C. That's how I'm, 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 that's how I know how it's written or not. Imagine if Magic the Gathering is actually written CK and I have like no idea what I'm even talking about. Anyway, uh, what does this do? Bleen's Essence. When a card dies and the card bearing the sigil is on the void, draw a card from your deck. So I can hammer slammer a card and draw a card from my deck. But this is not in my colors. This is the only thing in my colors. Uh, Bellist. So when something attacks the bells, this attacks them for free. This is a, I mean, it's it's a decent card. It's a, it's pretty much in my colors. So as long as things are in my color, I just realized something. I should have changed the colors to form my circle cards. You find yourself inside a dungeon made of solid stone, only illuminated by the faint glow of lava. You enter the packed dungeon. For the first time, I can actually move around. <gasps> this is me. I love it. I love the fact that this exists, although there is like a discrepancy here. If I look to the left, I see myself still looking forward. But I love it. I love it. And we have the shop here too. Is the shop more expensive? Let's have here an opinion on what's happening. Shop's the same. Uh, obviously, we will with the eight. We have buy two items. Scissors, yep. Broken. Mox bottle, yep. Uh, let's go for the view deck. Um, red, red. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six against one, two, three. Okay, we're gonna obviously change the side deck. Um, you're out. I think this is okay. Six to four is pretty decent. Um, yeah, I think six to four is pretty decent. Although, once again, one, two, three, four, five, six against one, two, three. Yeah, I mean, six, this is six to three, and we are we are having six to four. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so so I think the deck is okay. Um, yeah, I don't want... The, I mean, this is in my colors, but I don't have a nine. This was my colors previously, too. But this is gonna go in the main deck. That's the problem. That's why I'm not picking this up. What is this, by the way? Magnus Mox item. I don't know what this is. A zero cost, just three. Whatever. Anyway, exit the shop. Can I avoid everything? I can definitely not avoid the fights. This is a new card. Do I want a new card in the deck? I mean, it's not like I know what cards exist. This is the deleted card, right? Is there a card that I want to really delete? Let's go see the deck again for a moment. I'm sorry I'm repeating myself here. By the way, I'm gonna go through the mirror because I forgot to try to go through the mirror. Uh, let's read the deck. So... I, at least at this point, the Technomage is pretty trash. The rest? I mean, Orange Mage is complete trash. Yeah, like, Orange Mage is trash. So let's exit here. Let's go. Let's go see a new car. Yeah, there are some good cards like the wolf, gem frog. I mean, this is decent. It's a one three, and this mod is decent. Uh, you gaze at the invisible mage once foolish drunk. The potion you see four cost two one is decent. This is also good. I, I like this orange mage. Let's take this orange mage. That is good, and let's throw the other one away. I think this is throwing away, by the way. You stand before an empty painting, you must choose a card that you wish to seal away forever, ever, ever. Let's go here. Yep, that was it. Wait. Yeah, let's try to go through this. I cannot go through this. No, I wanted to change the skin. Uh, this is a non-forced fight, so we're not gonna take it. This is... This is the choose based on color, I think. No, this is the choose based on color. Why have I no memory and recollection about what this does? Yeah, because... Yeah, I don't know. Because it's not very memorable. That's that thing. One of the two is get a new card, the other is get a card based on scissors. I mean, this should not survive, right? It says sacrificable cards. Is this a sacrificable card? I guess it's a sacrificable card, otherwise it doesn't make sense. I have triangle. It crashed! It crashed, I honest, this guy crashed. I'm coming back right away. Okay, and I'm back. Let's see if an event actually is uh, repeated. Man, I should have tested this. Uh, did I lastly... What's the last event I did? Did I delete a card as the last event? Please give me an event for free. Please give me delete cash and card deletion for free. Okay, first of all, this changed into painting. This changed into an elite fight. And uh, this changed into get a card of your choice. Ah, the other one? Ah, I remember, I remember. So, oh, this is a good chance to actually try to reset here and see if um, if the events change. 
I want to break this mod as much as I can, by the way. I know it's almost borderline cheating, but if you introduce bugs like these into this, I think I want to see if uh, getting into fight resets what they are outside of the fight. Come on. No. Damn it. <laughs> uh, I don't know what affects it. I, I guess it's uh, closing the game, but I I'm not okay with closing the game. I, I don't want to do that. Does Lava do anything? No. <laughs> I want. You know what I decided to do? I decided to change every single color of everything into the same one you know ju just to mess with the mod creator by having bugs what is this okay this is there is a side uh, explanation murder power the value represented with this sigil will be equal to half the total amount of power on your board okay so it will have one damage if i play everything which i'm not able to play everything but i have the I have the heavy machine gun and i also have the techno mage techno mage i can take three and then kill this for free which is an insanely stupid idea. Or I can just play the Techno Mage. Techno Mage. Yeah, let's play the Techno Mage. And I play. I'm so stupid. I should not have played the Ruby Marks here. I should have played the Ruby Marks over on the left. Yeah, I was having too much fun, man. Too much fun. Well, anyway, let's throw this away. Let's do the Dammer Hammer Slammer. Excuse me? It should be dead. Well, I'm gonna hammer slammer it anyway. Let's go here, pass. Whoop. Comes in. Whoop, dead. Whoop, dead. Yeah, this thing is gonna survive. Uh, let's go with Moxes, as I can't even play anything anyway. So is this gonna have like one, or is it gonna have zero? One. Nice. This thing is gonna move right away. Nope, it's not gonna move away right away. Nice, so I can kill it, actually. Whoop, the bell is, but I want I don't want to play it now. I would prefer to get some bells. So this is gonna move make this move. And this is gonna attack the tail once with a machine gun and then one more time. So the tail's dead. And then this is gonna attack second and kill this too. <laughs> Whoop. You remember the calculations I just did? I said. You remember I said that this is gonna attack, that's gonna spawn and then attack again, you know? It bugged out the game. It bugged out the game. Is it my fault that this is happening? Like, are you doing this on purpose? Guys, I'm sorry. I'm, I am I, I really don't like editing. Um, it, it makes my files bigger and um, I don't know. I don't have an editor and whatever and I can't have big files because of the fact that, you know, I don't have good internet, etc, etc. So there will be no editing this, okay? I'm sorry that this is big, but it's not my fault that this mod is whatever. You obviously have the exact same hand. Maybe I should try something different one time. Oh, we actually have the gem, gem detonator. Detonator, detonator. Oh, this is a random card. I see. That's why we have the gem detonator. Let's go with... You know what I'm gonna do? Honest, we go here and here. And now I'm gonna assume that this thing is not gonna die in one shot. Nothing follows the rules, man. Nothing is sacred in this mod. Uh, I can't even play this. Um, I guess I can play it, honestly speaking. Yeah, let's just do this. Yeah. Luck is always with my... Dead, dead. This thing isn't gonna do anything to us. Explain to me what happened. This thing attacked... This thing, this thing attacked us, and this guy also counts as a chime. That's the only reasonable explanation here, that this guy also counts as a charm. Chime. There is no other explanation than this. None. <laughs> um, I guess we pass here. Boom. Chime attack. Boop. You, what did you do? What did you do? <laughs> Let's go with this. Okay, we got the ruby marks. That's pretty useless. And we're gonna sl hammer slammer that room marks to play the necromage. Kills this thing. Uh, which will kill this before it even appears. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need some time here on this whole thing happening. Let's gonna get machine gunned. Oh no. The bug. I can't play the necromage on the left because of the bug. No, no, I, ca I can't because the gem frog isn't even gonna do anything. So let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go. Uh, nothing actually. There is no let's go anymore. Us. Bub, bub. Pop attack. Nope, dead. Yeah, that thing is also dead, by the way. This is dead. Yo, uh, I guess the golem is not the smartest book in the shelf. Um, let's go with... We're gonna leave this alive. 
Let's nothing. We're gonna go with nothing. This is dead. We're gonna do one damage for free. This is dead. We do one, we take two. Oh, that thing is also dead. So here I need blue. Blue has arrived. So now we can play this here, and by using this, we can backline kill that. Boom. Done. Yep. All of them are dead. Wait, what did this die? <gasps> he didn't have a familiar. Oh, he did. Ah, nice, 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 nice. But it didn't die instantly. It did. It died after the other thing arrived. Whatever, man. Whatever. Let's go. I like. I liked how it worked, though. I liked how it worked. I could have gotten one more money out of that. Could have gone for one more money. Have I? Or no? We avoid everything. Everything. This is my ecologist. Do I have two similar cards? I think I don't. I want to use the Mycologist for sure. I want to create something broken. Um, I can go through this without fighting. This is the buffing card. This is get the card. Can I avoid these? Can I zigzag away from these? Nope, I cannot avoid these. Uh, I don't want this for sure. Uh, let's go get the card. And if it's good enough, we can go Mycologist. Ah, I hate this choice. This is not gonna be a Mycologist card. I mean, what are we even talking about here? Wow. My lag is immeasurable. Uh, should I YOLO that card and give it another schedule? I think, honestly, I should. There is another Mycologist there. Let's YOLO it. YOLO is my name. Luck is my game. Can I avoid this? <laughs> we are rolling with the punches. We are abusing bugs, but we're not cheating. My college is those cards away. Lose the game. Yay. Maybe I get another my college's card. That's better. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Shh. This is the drug card of your choice. I just destroyed the... D and these are trash choices too. Uh, this is over. This is so over. Uh, gem detonator. I don't even have it twice. <laughs> uh, Let's take this. What is this then? Do you have a card that needs the cost? Yeah, I hate the cost. Um, <laughs> here, this card that I don't even want to play. Let's uh, let's roll this. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> I still can play it though. I can still play it. It's a fight. Let's go, my colleges. Combine those cards. What? What is this? What exactly is gonna get combined? I'm gonna go with this. I don't know what's gonna happen. This is by far the best combo. Look upon this process right now. Please give me something. Ooh, why did it get the sigil? Why did the sigil? Twisted and warped by the fung. A new card emerges only through pain can one grow. I mean, it's a 3-5, but it lost every single aspect it had. Let's go buff. The one card that needs buffing. This one. Okay, we keep it as a 2 1. Trying to find where the boss is. And all my colleges is there. You know what? This my college is okay with us. We're chasing the stone. This is a 3 1. This is a gem detonator. Uh, honestly, I'm okay with taking 2 damage. If it means that next turn I can play this thing. Right, let's take a pass. Okay, now a gem detonator. Okay, I cannot play the thing I wanted. I can play the 2 1 here, kill this gem detonator. We take 2, we do 2. Next turn, I can most likely, hopefully, kill also this gem detonator. Actually, I should draw cards from the deck. I can just kill this Sapphire Fox, by the way. Uh, not Fox, Sapphire Mox. Right now, I can play the Ruby Mox, block this, take 2 damage. Next turn. Play the Ruby Golem, kill the Sapphire Mox, kills pretty much everything. It will also do one backline damage. Although, whatever comes from here, here it will kill us. Uh, on the other hand, I can play Ruby Mox here to block the Gem Detonator attack, and Ruby Golem here. Actually, I can just play the. Yeah, I can just do it. Just play this. Should just play it simple and clean. As, as simple as possible. How many Gem Detonators are gonna arrive here? Please don't tell me it's gonna be 1 1 1 1 1 1. Let's go with a card from the deck. 
Okay, we got a good card from the deck. Which I can't play, but I can play the Mox. Or one return pretty much. See what happens. Okay, this is gonna die. I need blue. It doesn't matter, we buy time and we also kill this and also kill that. Why did that unit join for free? Oh, unless she plays cards at the end of the turn, I guess. Yeah, I'm mixing up facts here. Can I play, please? Thank you. Uh, let's block this whole lane in, because why not? This is gonna backline damage everything dead. And we win. Yep, easy enough. Let's go. We got some decent cards in the deck. My colleges, now that they know that it's an awesome thing, you encounter the abomin abnormally disgusting fungi that infest this dungeon. It is said, it is said to process strange the properties of offering cards the same cost to it might strengthen them. Uh, might as well throw this into this whole thing, this whole mess into. I'd also go for these. Like, this should become a 3 4. And it already has this bad schedule in the first place, so might as well make it a good card. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely not gonna play this. I, I don't know what this is gonna make, but I I'm not uh, I'm not gonna combine two of my best cards. Let's go here. Results may have been students. Yeah, whatever. Let's go. We are in the one hour and five minute already. Oh, this became even worse, man. Now it can't do anything. Let's draw a, a random trash card here. Let's go triangle. Okay, triangles are good in general. I hope this is gonna be the boss area, man. I really don't want to do circles. Invisible Mage. It's a gem generated fight again. This time I can start with four damage, uh, three damage. But then this thing is gonna explode. Wait, this is gonna chain react explode into the gem detonator. So we're pretty safe. Yeah. This is gonna actually help us. And the necromage can be on the very left to wait for all of that happen. Do three damage. We take nothing. Very nice. No, it crashed! Uh, right back and we're back again ah guys i don't know what to say about this mod man this this whole crashing it's it's tiring i'm sorry but and i'm even forced to upload this right now because i i've made the mistake and decided to leave this recording for last so i have to do it right now ah uh, and it's a different fight <laughs> but we still have the same hand <laughs> No, we don't even have the same hand. Uh, okay, we... This is gonna push them to the right. Yeah, this is good for us. Mm, we can block the hit. And do this. Oh, push this to the right. Perfect. This is gonna backline damage, kill your units. No, not mine. And we win. That's how the Mox decks should go, by the way. That's how the Mox sh decks should go all the time. Oh, no. Oh no. This. Yes, now it does something. Yes. Oh, is this a dead end? Did I just see a dead end behind that guy? The Wiz. The Wiz appears from the, within the portrait. It does not cast spells with accuracy, but perhaps such a weakness may be more useful to you. If it wasn't triangle. Uh, Mage Pupil, this is a free card. I take the free card. Chest. You have found yourself a strange chest. Inside the chest, a key. And now I need to go to the other side where there's gonna be a door. No. Tick, 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 tick. Huh? Ah, it's here. What? Wait a minute. Let's not forget the shop. Have I used items? Do I have items? Open up. FBI. Open up. Open. I, I, I have the, I have the key. I have the key. Hello. I have the key. Uh, let's go to the other side too in case we are forced to because I don't see any other solution here And if it's a dead end by the way this mod is over <laughs> uh, Okay, we're gonna go on the right side. We're gonna do three damage, but we'll also take three damage I 
I got trash cards in my hand. Um, yeah, as I said, let's go for the three damage move. Please give me only these guys. This is really bad. Oh no, I do have backline damage. Nice. Give me red. No, well, we're gonna throw that away until we get red. Backline dead. That's also dead. Red. Yes. I mean, we were winning anyway, but money. And I am missing an item, so we're gonna run to the shop. Oh. Nice to also the damage. It's helping, it's helping. I, I like how I'm getting speed here. Gaining power. Flying through the fights a bit faster. Alchemist appears from within the portrait. It's also useless, not our colors, but it's really good. I bestow strength to mage's particular strategy. Uh, a gaze at the multiple multiply mage. It casts a spell to quadruple its quadruple itself. I don't do I need bones? Not really. I would prefer the alchemist, honestly. And then the event that changes colors. I'll just might as well try this first. Oh, these are the only similar cards I have in color. Abominalities. You know what? It's gonna become a one six. Man, this is uh, the trashiest ones. We throw away the trashiest ones. Use the explosion. It didn't use the explosion. Of course, it didn't use the explosion. Uh, twisted and warp, <laughs> but it lost brittle though. <laughs> so no, it's better. It's better like that. Yes, I like it like that. And I can hammer my own sigil and explode it when I need to. Uh, let's change the color of that other card. I can go faster, by the way. I can fly through this. This is... Is this color changing? I'm afraid, man. Cost you are unsatisfied with. Yes. Um, this one. Nice. I'm okay with it. Let's go also see our... You arrive at the shop. Yeah, I was... I did speed, speed run, by the way, there. Uh, edit side deck. No, no. First, let's edit main deck. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six against one, two, three, four, five. Um, I think we're close enough, right? Four, six. I could go for a five, five. Let's go for a five, five. And uh, here we're going to go on item. Mox bottle. Okay, it is what it is. Exit. Let's move slowly, step by step. Let me jump into that. <laughs> <laughs> this is the scroll wheel, by the way. With the scroll wheel, you jump through everything. It's the same fight as previously. But uh, this time, I don't... I mean, I can play my whole hand anyway. Yeah, I can just play my whole hand. So we're gonna go with the first mage on the left. The hover mage on the right. The spikes in front of the one... No, <laughs> this is so stupid. Hover mage on the left. First mage. First mage on the right. Where, where's the mox gonna be? That's my main question. This is a joke fight, by the way. So, let's go. Mox here. I can even use the Mox to block. And have the spikes exist. Let's use the Mox to block. I don't know if I'm going to draw another blue card, though. So, let's play this here. Play this here so it's useful. Play this here because why not. And let's play this here because why not. Let's go. Boom. Two da three damage. Turn one. I could have set up a turn two win. I'm so stupid sometimes. Because if this was your... Oh, this is a two-turn win. Well, I could have set up a do one more damage. I could have set up do one more more damage. <laughs> Should have had the suffer in the right left. Is this another key? Hello? Ah, I think I didn't read correctly what was previously stated. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's on me. That's on me. The boss, nice. And this is still Act 2, man. Oh no, this is gonna take a year. I hate it when it takes me a year to show the video, man. Why is this happening? Just imagine. You are an ice cube slowly melting in a hot pain. This guy's dying over here. Um, I mean, if we kill this, this dies, but this ruby golem is gonna survive. We have the necromage here. We also have a underwater mage. I can't have the underwater mage on the left, so it kills the ruby mox. Because this ruby golem is not going to survive through the necromage's multiple attacks. So we're going to only get hit for one damage. From this thing. I think that... No, it crashed! It crashed again! <sighs> Isn't this tiring? Isn't this tiring? It feels tiring to me, man. I I'm opening the game, by the way, while I'm also talking to you guys. Uh, ju just a little pause here for me to take a break from this for a moment. Oh, man. 
Uh, opened up, done. Let's see where we are at. Nothing's getting edited. Everything's staying in here. Showcasing how long this... <laughs> Sometimes I'm thinking I'm doing like a rear suicide by doing these huge videos. Because uh, I'm pretty sure like people are skipping these or even hating on them. But on the other hand... I don't know, man. This is... Uh, I don't know. Honestly, I really don't know. I think I should have like... Um... Also, on the one hand, I'm like, if it crashes again, I'm just gonna say, guys, that's the video, it's over. On the other hand, I obviously don't want to do that, because I want to do this run. Um, I, I mean, this is literally the same hand I had. So, let's sacrifice. It's a blue one. So, let's play both of these. Machine gun's gonna be on this side, so this is wholeheartedly dead and water goes to the left. So, blue mocks, I have two of them, so might as well block a hit. This needs two bones. Okay, we're gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. We're just gonna yolo it. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, we're gonna break this. Okay, let's go here. Done. Yep, this is dead. This is also dead. Okay, Scarecrow. Okay, I guess it's a 1 1. Start drawing some real cards first. Next card's gonna be a Mox, in case I can play it. Yeah, this is gonna be a slow fight. Next one's gonna be a card, in case I can play it. I can't play it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna f let the Moxes be blocked there. Okay. Nice. The Scarecrow's leave spikes behind. Panic! Panic! <laughs> I mean, it's not panic, but it's uh, it's dangerous. <laughs> it's dangerous, alright. Let's go. Yeah, that's dead. I can play card here. As long as I draw the marks I need. Oh, I did not realize that happened. Uh, yellow marks? Nope. Uh, I don't have five bones. We're about to take four damage. Panic is setting in. Snip this. I think snip this is the play. I can just play the Sapphire Marks. Block one damage. We're gonna take three though. Okay, if next turn... <laughs> I mean, it's not like I really want to snip this because, I mean, the Orange Mage here is uh, is not doing anything. If this was not underwater. I really, I really, really like the fact that underwater is still proving proving itself to be actually detrimental to us. We're gonna play this thing and it's gonna destroy the whole line and we're gonna win in two turns. Let's go. Boom, boom, bop, backline's dead. No, I forgot the spear. What? No, that's not how things work in inscription. Things that are in the backline do not spawn things. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? This mod isn't changing the basic things of inscription. I mean, it's not the mod. I'm pretty sure it's just uh, how it's coded. Um, this is dead. We do one damage. Are we winning at least? Nope. Are you winning? Are we winning, son? Nope. Okay, this is dead. Oh, man. Can I say something here that might sound really bad, but it's actually... I'm, I'm happy about it. I mean, at this point, it might not be true. I will just guess that now, when, I'm, when I beat this round, the void will spawn with spikes. This is gonna die. We're gonna lose our whole void. I see the loss coming. Because this mechanic normally, like, puts spikes on the board or something. Haha! Why did I lose life? These enhanced spears will damage not your cards, but something else, my life. Ah, okay. Oh. Okay, then we win. So close to salvation. Doesn't matter, man. These enchanted spears are a lot stronger. Yeah, man. Whatever. Uh, we need... 7 damage. We have... 5. This is plus 2. This is plus 1. So... Yeah, we win. Uh, let's, uh, let's begin this plan. First we play the Force Mage. I'm gonna play this very roundabout. Because this thing has to get... No! The game crashed. Man, the game crashed. Are you kidding me? What's your problem?
What's your problem? <laughs> Guys, I'm not willing to play this again, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I can't, man. It's it's gonna take too much. It's it's gonna take too long. I can't be editing this. It's you know what? At the end of the day, that's the main problem, right? I, I'm gonna take the blame for why this is ending here in this uh, sour note. Um yeah, I mean, maybe I'm gonna play it again. Maybe give it another try, now that I know what the cards do, now that I know how to play this, maybe, and I, I, I don't know, but it's it's not for today, man. I don't know. It it crashes too much. I don't like it when this happens. It, it takes too much time for me. I was expecting to, you know, get a one hour run this in this one and a half, maybe, but... <sighs> Can I speed run this? I don't know, man. I'm not good at saying no, though. I... I... <laughs> Sometimes I should really, like, not compromise. Let me get, let me get back into where I was, okay? Let me get, get back into where I was. Okay, I'm back to where I was. I think I had, the other time I had drawn more cards from the main deck, but uh, yeah, whatever. Let's, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. If, and I promise you this right now. If this mod crashes again, it's over. Like, I, I literally stopped the video, like, on the spot. I'm gonna, like, do my outro. Give thanks to whatever is, uh, you know, the, the, the patrons and stuff, which are insanely helpful in this whole thing. <laughs> like, the support is crazy. And uh, yeah, let's continue. Boom. We lose a life. We lose a life. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So I need three damage from this and one damage from this. So I can play this. So we spam. No, no, no. We, yeah, we break this. Let's go. Let's go. Do I still need the same amount of damage? Yes. So we break this guy. We don't need him anymore. We break this. Almost lost the familiar there. We should be dead, by the way, right now. But whatever. Let's go with this thing here. Let's go with this thing here. Let's break this. Is this still working? It's still working. Is it still working? It's still working. Still alive. Still alive. Still alive. Let's really hope that this is not going to disappear on me right now. And we win. Got it. Nice. And from here on out, we're playing um with luck okay the moment this crashes it's over the video ends like i'm gonna do the outro and stuff i'm gonna give my thanks but the video is gonna end the moment this uh, this crashes again like this is not possible it's not possible for me to be playing this for the first time in my life and it's crashing so much and i literally even pressed escape and restarted the whole thing so i'm sure i have a clean save you glance at the blue spore mage a peculiar i'm not even gonna read them because we can never crash we can always crash yeah great or whatever Amalgam, whatever. We're gonna not draw these as these are not on my colors. Actually, this guy is on my colors. This guy is also on my colors. This guy gives us one card for each. This is uh, however many gems you have. I'm gonna draw this. This is insane. The moment I draw this, I just play it and boom, we draw 50 cards. Actually, we draw two cards. Yeah, it's not 50 cards, it's two cards. This guy gives us one card every time he attacks. I'm gonna direct that. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with card draw. Let's go with card draw. I'm not doing... I, I forgot to read the casino there. Being surrounded by the blinding abyss, you are welcome to the deafening sounds that accompany as you enter the realm. Oh, this is the, the the stimulation mage, but we're most likely gonna need not see him because um, you know the the mod is bugged. Let's go with mm, this scissors. Okay, I have three scissors now. View deck. What did I draw this thing? Okay, nothing changes in the rarity of my cards. What is this? What is this? Is this the map? Guys, I'm lost. Okay, we are in the beginning. I guess that this is the map, okay? So, assuming that we are here, we go... What happens if I go into the abyss? Can I go into the abyss? Right now, I'm in, at the abyss. Are we here? Can I just go left, left, up, 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 up? Let's try that. Let's go left, left, up, 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 and see what happens. Right, so we're gonna go one, two, right. Wait, let's see how many times that bubble has to happen. So we're here. I assume, okay? One or here. So one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, I guess. So one, two, hop. One, two, three, four. Oh, we get lost. Oh, this is the curve enough time thing. Nice. Um, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Although it's gonna take a while. Let's run through this. Yeah, what do I hate? I don't particularly like the bullfrog, the mage pupil. Let's make the mage pupil literally a free card. Oh, 
ho, 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 ho. this is insane. Let's move step. So we are here. Can I not avoid fights? Can I not avoid things? Let's go blue. Tentacle, nice. It sent me back to the beginning. Oh. I tried to go here and it sent me back to the beginning. So we're here. Let's go again. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, one, two. Are you kidding me? Oh, I am at the below this. So we go one, two, right. One, two, left. One, two. Worst fight. <laughs> I really tried to avoid these. Man, the, the, the idea is awesome. I, I'm so happy that I didn't, uh, you know, throw away the mod the previous fight. But this idea is awesome and I love it. Now, I obviously hate the fact that if this crashes, I'm going to stop playing it on the spot. But still, the idea is very fun and awesome. In my opinion, obviously. Let's go here. Uh, why do I have... Mm, why does this have two damage? We got destroyed, man. And both of these are going to die because these are coming in. Well, this also has damage right now, so I will obviously play it. To do one damage there. And also not take a million. I yeah, will lose all my board. We're about to lose. Um, I think I have to snip the mage. I have three scissors. Why am I keeping them? That's enough time for us. We're just going to take two damage here. Okay, now I need to snip more things. Blue. Ooh. Three damage on the left. No, it's over. It's over. It crashed. It crashed. It's crashed. It, I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm trying to be as relaxed as possible. And, uh, like, you know, what happened with Gamora's mod, I was very negative there. And I tried, you know, I, I tried to play this a bit more relaxed this time. Okay, in general, I, I want to be a not that negative person, to be honest. I will still express my opinions, but I'm going to be more on the normal side of things, okay? But I'm not okay with people sending me mods that are well made, yes, but have bugs that happen this often. Okay, I'm not okay with that, and uh, I don't know, uh, sometimes it feels like I'm just uh, the person that, yo, shift, showcase my mod, yo, shift, shift, showcase my mod, yo, guys, I'm okay with showcasing mods, but please make them, make sure that it has not game-crushing bugs, okay, I'm okay if the bug is like something used damage forever, I, I don't know, like some bugs are okay, but sometimes are not, and honestly, from here on out, this is like, I, I guess it's not like, a, I, I'm not trying to this is called threaten anybody okay but i'm just saying that uh i the moment a mod crashes while i'm recording like the first 10 minutes or 50 or 20 i don't know because you know the crash happened very early i'm just gonna straight up stop the recording okay now if you create a mod that crashes after 50 minutes or after an hour and does it only once i'm obviously not gonna be like oh no 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 but if it's gonna happen like in the first five or ten minutes I'm, I'm just straight up stopped the recording there, and I'm not gonna play it until you fix the bug. Like, I, I cannot handle this thing. It, uh, it, in my opinion, it, it broke the, the whole uh, thing. It, it broke my experience on this. I, I was so invested in this, and, and then this happened. And uh, you know what? I will say... Let me say the opinions on the mod, actually. You know, other than the crashes, because we have to be also pragmatic about this. Now... The mod itself, I enjoyed the fact that we had the si a shop. First of all, I I'm going to say them in whatever order I decide, okay? Uh, I mean, the art, it's there isn't something insane with art. It's just floating. I mean, I'm pretty sure that there was job put into this, okay? I do understand that. And, uh, you know, making things work, etc. I do understand that. But the art, I mean, it was pretty simplistic. We even had a dungeon there. I mean, that was fun, being able to also move in the dungeon other than the void that we get in normal inscription. And I also like the fact that we the dark room was insane. I love that thing. I didn't like the fact that it was a forced mechanic to go for specific fights. It If you can make it, it would be more fun if you could give us like two or three paths. And then we have to move within the darkness to try to navigate. Because right now it's like, okay, just go through the path and you will fight some very specific things. I mean... Okay, obviously I wanted to see the, the stimulation mage as a lot of you guys wanted to see them too. But, um, I mean... Yeah, it crashed, man. I'm not gonna handle this. And uh, you guys, if you want to play it, I mean, the mod is free. There will be a link in the description about where the mod is and how to download and install it too. It's gonna be a bit lower uh, than than the rest of the links. And um, yeah, let's continue with the mod um, uh, things. 
The boss fight, the first one, I mean, as far as I understand, it wasn't anything in the first phase of it. The second phase just dropped some slimes on you that when you attack them, you lose a bunch of da you lose one damage from your units. And the moment the second phase started, I think you also lost one damage from your units. Uh, pretty, uh, it was, uh, on the one side, you it was not expecting what's going to happen. You know, you lose your board instantly, almost, because most of the units have one or two attack. Uh, and because he plays the slimes, you lose even more things very quickly. But at the end of the day, you can slow play it. You can literally take the hammer and just slam everything, as far as I know, because I didn't do it, right? There might be a secondary mechanic happening there. But as far as I understand, you can just slam your whole board or just play it very slowly and just open up one lane. And at some point, you will beat that boss, so... I mean, the first boss was very simple. I, I like that Gubert was the person that slows everything down. Although, although now that we know that he's a painter, I think it should be more paint specific, in my opinion. Not uh, don't uh, don't focus on the slime aspect of him. I guess focus on the painter aspects. But on the other hand, honestly speaking, it's Gubert, and uh, I think also these fights have to do with what happens in Act Two when you fight them, right? I'm not 100 sure. But I'm just going to assume that something similar happens because my memory is really hazy about what happens in normal inscription in the story mode. Okay, now uh, the second fight with the spikes. I mean, it's very thematic. It's not completely bonkers, crazy or hard or anything. It's uh, It doesn't try to kill you off. It's just you play defensive. This The fight plays defensive. I like the second phase where the spikes actually do damage to you. But if you had like a full board, the most that would happen is you start with minus four right away. But for you to actually do that, that means you have four creatures. So theoretically, even if you kill everything and take four damage, you still should not be in any danger. As the fact that you killed four spikes means that you have four creatures on the board. So you should be able to block anything coming in. So I think like the transition is very steep. You instantly see that you start losing life very quickly. But at the end of the day, you still have time to recover, so I like the second fight too. I didn't fight, obviously, the other two. I didn't fight Magnificus or um, Gu well, the, not Gubert, the um, Stimulation Mage, Lonely Mage. I think it's Lonely Mage. Anyway, um, so yeah. By the way, you know, classic, go in the comments and everybody write Stimulation. We know how this goes, but we didn't see him, man. We didn't see him. Yeah, I'm not going to play this mod again to try to find him. I'm sorry, but it crashes too much. I hope this gets fixed. And uh, alongside fixing this, by the way, please make it so we fight a few less opponents. Like, it's it's too much. It, it, the fights take too long anyway. I know that you might have a perfect Mox deck, and I'm pretty sure the dev has played this a bunch of times. By the way, um, dev of this mod, which once again is Silence Man, comment down below whatever you want, alongside the fact that you are the dev or whatever, you know, so that we know it's you. And I'm going to pin your comment so you can say whatever you want to say, obviously. And uh, people also, I would like your opinions and to write down below what you believe about the mod, as always, because I'm pretty sure mod creators watch the comments. So tell them your opinions, if you like the mod, if you didn't like the mod, like the graphics or whatever you liked, right? So about the combat, I like Mox combat in general. I know I know a lot of people hate it, but uh, I played a bit with Moxes in Act 2. Mostly I think I had a Mox deck and... Um, I enjoy the fact that you can just play one mox and then boom, your board fills. Obviously, in this mod, if you create a, one, a monocolor deck, like if it's only blues or only reds, I'm pretty sure it's like completely busted. You just play, you make the whole mox deck be one color and then you just play your whole hand right away and then you only draw from real deck. So that's definitely something I would enjoy doing if the mod didn't crash, man. I... I I really like moxes, and honestly, the fact that there are three colors means that you can definitely run the mod at least, at least three times if you are instantly going for mono mox decks, right? So if you literally pick up the, mo the, de the mod and say, I'm gonna go red, and uh, like, I'm gonna go triangles, and then you're like, okay, I did the triangle run, then you can definitely do another two runs. If, if you don't even do a mono run, then it's gonna be even more runs, right? For example, right now, this was my first run. My next three runs would be monocolor decks for sure, if this didn't crash that much. And uh, that would already be four runs for free, even if you win, even if you lose. So... I like that there is a replayability of that, right? It's like one mechanic, the moxes, but the end bones, by the way, and um, and then after you get the moxes done, you can just you have three different decks. What what am I talking about? Let me rephrase this because this made no sense. Sift out of context, go to the Discord. You know this is going there literally. So let me say what I meant. Uh, the fact that oh no no, although this is a mox based deck, obviously. Uh, the fact that you have three different moxes means that you can make three completely different decks in three different runs, right? So I like that. And most of them will be broken too, because if you're monocolored, you can play a very quickly very a bunch of units. So you always feel OP if you have only one color in your deck. So I, I really like enjoy that in general, although we didn't showcase it here. Anyway, now for the rest of the mod, the events, I didn't like it random things. 
because you know it randomly got a downgrade and a very bad downgrade too i also didn't like the change a color at random in general i think when you when you tell us to change a color i would definitely prefer to go with the one of the two colors so you, you could maybe do an event like like this and and when you want to for example you can do like that you you can how can i explain this you can have two spots that would be one way of doing this. One spot be orange, one spot be... Well, you know what? I don't know. You can do it any better way than the one I say. But when you ask for us to change a card uh, for the cost of it, please make it non-random. That's what I would ask. It's as simple as that, in my opinion, because it's more fun to create something coherent than just go for the random direction. The same obviously goes for the random sigil application. I would definitely prefer if we knew beforehand what sigil is going to get added or something like that. Uh, or at least, if it's going to be completely random, at least give me the chance to see what the random choices we're going to get is. Like, don't make it the whole slew. Make it two good ones and one bad one, right? Show me. It's going to get either get poisonous or it's going to get uh, under, under water because it's considered a good one. Or it's going to get brittle, you know? Or it's going to get uh, double strike, it's going to get flyer, or it's going to get um, gem dependent, you know? Uh, something that showcases exactly what might happen because I don't want to throw something in there and it becomes brittle. What? I hate it when that happens, but if I know that it might happen by showing me that, watch out, this might happen, then I'm okay with it because then the gamble is on my side because right now it's on your side. Uh, it's like loot boxes, man. It's, it's better... I know, by the way, I hate loot boxes, but it's better to know that there is a 0.5% chance to get the legendary and 99% of the time it's gonna be trash, okay? Because then you know I'm not gonna buy loot boxes because it's trash. Then it being like, you can win something good out of this. Anyway, let's pass through that. <laughs> Same goes with the colors, obviously. And um, yeah, I think I said most of the things. What else event was there? What what other events? My colleges, pretty out of place. Like, it, it was a weird event. A bunch of weird events, man. In general, like, all the events were weird. The the only event that I liked was the, the flame. Which, by the way, should also show you what it's gonna burn. I don't know why the icon does not show you what you're gonna get buffed at but yeah i mean it's literally the flame event so we can't say it it's a custom event honestly speaking it's not really a custom event now if that flame event also buffs health randomly or if it does something else randomly like give you a new sigil or something i wouldn't know uh, it's not like i no, i did stop rolling for the super mage i had uh, and yeah I, I did stop rolling so i don't know man i i wanted to make this a small video and now i i'm sitting like 10 minutes here and just talking about this i could have even continued the run while i while i was talking Guys, I'm sorry. This is like, I'm sorry this video is weird. I, you know, I, I got completely thrown out of my game. And um, yeah, with the crashes, obviously. And it is what it is, man. I can't always be perfect. I'm a human too. And uh, as long as I'm continuing uploading unedited videos with my opinions as they are without editing them, etc. Which I think is the thing that people like. I will, um, yeah, this is going to continue happening. <laughs> Maybe sometime people will be like, I know that there are a few people that hate uh, the videos, but like, if yo bro, they're too big, but whatever. But uh, you guys put them in place by saying them <laughs> that uh, this is the wrong place for small videos. <laughs> uh, although like one and a half hour videos, I'm also against that. If, if you are, I'm pretty sure people are okay with 50 minutes, one hour, but I'm, I'm not okay with one and a half and etc. Anyway, that's going to be it. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on the channel as always. And if you want support further, there's Patreon for that too. And um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. I stated my opinions. I did the run. And from now on, I'm going to go back to simpler mods until Grimora mod patches again. Because um, as far as I understand, the whole modding community that has to do with a Grimora mod um, also uh, talks with me and uh, took my opinions into consideration. So uh, I, I see uh, a, a bright future in front of it. Anyway, this mod was decent too. But uh, it had too many crashes. Yep, that's my final verdict. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it for today. So once again, thanks for watching. And see you guys around.